Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. An intranet is a private network which is heavily protected by many different networking devices, such as a router, firewall, proxy server, DMZ, HoneyNet. IPS and IDS. This diagram is an overly simplified version of the reality. I try to put these devices together in a reasonable order, only for teaching and learning purpose. Today, my topic is firewall. Firewalls. Protect a network from external threats using a variety of methods. In this video, I will talk about five major functions. Number one, port filtering. Port filtering is also called port blocking. A port number means a certain application. Different applications use different port numbers. Port filtering is a function that allows or denies a certain applications by opening or closing ports. Opening port eighty, for example, means web pages can go through the firewall. Twenty-five for sending email, and twenty-one for FTP, and etc. If the firewall is set up to block ports seven, nineteen. And fifty-three, for example, it means the firewall will block application using these port numbers. Number two function: MAC filtering. MAC address is media access control address. It's a unique identifier assigned to a device network interface card or NIC. It is a device's physical address. This option is useful because the MAC address of a specific NIC never changes. Number three function is IP filtering. IP filtering is also called packet filtering. It blocks the packets based on layer three IP address. IP filtering will block incoming or outgoing packet from a particular IP address or range of IP addresses. Number four function of the firewall is content filtering, and is also called information filtering. In the most general sense, content filtering can include filtering application. Such as emails, web pages. In a narrow sense, content filtering is blocking websites by matching strings of characters such as hate, violence, or pornography. When the strings match, the content is not allowed through. This function is similar to some parental control programs. The four. Functions I just mentioned above are simple static or stateless filtering. Each packet is examined independently based on different variables, and with no reference to any preceding packets that may have passed the firewall. The last function I'm going to talk about is dynamic filtering, or some people call stateful filtering. Dynamic or stateful filtering is the most comprehensive inspection. It's like going through U.S. airport security. You must have a valid ID to match the name on your boarding pass. You will be examined. And scanned from head to toe. I'm glad they didn't 
ask me to take my hat off and put in the tray. From the perspective of the OSI model, dynamic filtering is like checking packets from layer 2 to layer 7. The process of dynamic filtering does not only involve inspection of header information such as source and destination IP addresses and port numbers, but also includes the close inspection its contents up to the application layer. But keep in mind, dynamic inspection is not, is not a simple sum of all static or stateless inspections. The most important feature of stateful or dynamic uh, inspection is that all packets are examined as a string, as a string, which means the decision on whether to pass a packet depends on what packets have already been through the firewall. To put it simply, packets are examined as a whole, not as a simple sum of its parts. The stateful or dynamic inspection also analyzes incoming packet for its authenticity in order to ensure that the packet is not altered during the transmission. In summary, static or stateless firewalls make decisions based on the variables like IP address, MAC address, or port address. Dynamic or stateful firewalls make decisions based on a whole picture. I hope this video would be helpful and not confusing. Thank you very much and see you next time.